Hey friends, welcome back to my channel on Feral's Mad World and this is Feral. Today I'm very excited to showcase how beautifully leather is made at Sabagin Leathers. Because Ethiopia has abundance of livestock resources, it produces large quantity of leathers. And shoe manufacturing is the biggest market in Ethiopia because of its raw material. And guys, you won't believe if I tell you that Ethiopia has 57.83 million cattle. 28.04 sheep 28.61 million heads of goat isn't that amazing and it has 34 tanneries in ethiopia sabang we take pride in our craft where someone like hana tells the stories cut out of her life left unused and unwanted slowly weaving them back into a new beginning where someone like kasesh and buze come together to tell stories of strength, hope, and love. That anyone anywhere can take part in rediscovering the unique bond that connects us all. Sabang, ethically crafted in Ethiopia. So guys, this is the cafe of Sabang and Leather. So let's go inside and see what they have to show us. So guys, before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell button to get all my updates. So guys, I'm at the workshop and so let's see how the magic happens. So guys, as I said that Ethiopia has 34 tanneries. So the leather comes from the tannery, from the local tannery. And now the process, the first process is to how to cut the leather material for any product, be it bag, shoe or any, any product. The first step is the cutting process. So this is how he is cutting the leather. So the second part of the process is after the material is cut, they have to match the colors. And after they match the colors, they have to check for the quality. So this is how she is checking the material and she's looking for any defects. And if the color matches, she keeps it here on this side. And if the color or if there is any defect in the material, then it is discarded and it's kept on the other side. So this material has been discarded and let's see why. So this material has been rejected because of its uh, defect. Can you see this? It's super tiny. So I must say that they are super tight with their quality control. Even this is rejected, but okay, this is big enough. But this was super, super, super small, <laughs> but still they rejected it. So guys, the defected material won't be wasted. They would use it in some other form, maybe not in the big bag, but in, this, in the form of small bag or maybe the lining. So they would use the material anyways, but not for the big bags. So this is the process which is called scabbing. Oh cool, did you see? This process is called scabbing. So this is the process which is called scabbing. Can you see this? So the material, the raw material was like this. See the edges from both the side. And with scabbing, this has become little thin. And it's cool. It's something new for me. So basically scabbing is done so that it helps in stitching like this. 
Now this is uh, the material has been scabbed and this is stitch. Can you see? So it, it helps in stitching. Cool. So after the scabbing is done, it's my favorite part which is called logo stamping. And this is how it's done. Logo stamping. I'll show you the process. So let's see. Now is the process where she will sew the two components. So let's see. So these are the two components and this is how she has done it. Can you see this? So this is one more process of back making. So this is the process where she is hammering the edges so that it sticks. This is the kind of tool which she is using on the leather to mark. It's very sharp. Can you see that? So this is the process where she is marking so that the bags can have its, uh, its, its strap. So now this has two components, one has its uh, stamp and the other one doesn't have, right? And both, uh, both the components have this strap marks. So this will again go for stitching and the final product would look something like this. The stitching, she would stitch it here, back and then the strap. So this is only the half part of the bag. Isn't it nice to see how little things are made?
so after the lock has been put she is sewing it again So guys, the bag making process isn't easy. It takes almost one and a half to two hours. And we girls are so very picky in choosing our bags. But today I saw the process of how the bags is being made. So I might consider that and be less picky about the bag. But now I'll show you that how the four components is being attached and she sews it into a bag. So come, check it out. So I just spoke about the four components. So these are the four components, the pack. So this is one, two, three and four. So now she'll attach all this together and make a bag. So finally now this is the final product of the bag and this is how it looks. Cool isn't it? So today we just saw that how the handbag is being made. How it's made. So guys, this is how the laborers are working to make a handbag and so now we'll check out the showroom. So guys, right now I'm at the showroom. I had been pronouncing the name wrong. I had been pronouncing it as Sabigin, but it's Sabin. Sabin means attractive in, in Amharic and so are the bags. Aren't those bags beautiful? So these are the bags, it's really beautiful, look at the handwork. They also make shoes. So guys, if you are at Sabin and if you have an international card or a Visa card, MasterCard, American Express card, you can get up to 50% discount. So whenever you are here, you can use your card and get the privilege. <laughs> 